Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me a d seven four four So today goes we do my conference league dream draw and my mock draw guys So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know your matchups in the comments below guys Remember guys the draw will take place on Monday and I believe at around 9 a.m. My time so we'll do like a live reaction at around 11 a.m. Ish uh, maybe even 10 o'clock possibly um, And so yeah, like I said guys um so remember guys to so let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments below and uh, which matchups do you really want to see man? Which matchups do you really want to see? There will be time description below for your guys convenience So I got the mock draw right here. We're gonna do the mock draw right here So I'm gonna click start the draw and we're gonna go ahead and get the group um, the teams out So we have mold slowing about to play Legia Warsaw Servette Olympiakos, Bodo Glimt, Union SG Gint And yeah, I remember guys I'll give you guys maybe like a quick you run through my predictions at how I each think each match would go um, so let's start with the first one. We got Mold versus Dinamo Zagreb. This is a really interesting one. I think that could be a very, very interesting one because both teams are really good at home, I would say. And um, I like this matchup a lot. I would say for right now, though, to advance to the next round, I'll probably give Mold the advantage. Um, well, maybe I might say Dinamo Zagreb because the second leg is going to be away in Dinamo Croatia, I believe. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to say Dinamo Zagreb just about. This will be about to versus Mike Abba Haifa. That's actually a very interesting matchup. I would probably at this moment edge with Slovenia about to play. I don't really trust Mike Abba Haifa on the road that much. So I'm going to go Slovenia about to play. Legit Warsaw versus Ajax. That could be a very interesting one. I think Ajax will prevail. I think Ajax will get that one done. And I think that will be a good matchup. Servet versus Ferenc Varos. That's a very interesting one. That's a difficult one to call. I would probably at this moment say Ferenc Varos. I think is better. They have the more experience. Um, so I would say with them, although, like I said, Servet do have the second leg. I'm oh, sorry, Ferenc Varos do have the second leg at home, so that's very interesting. Olympiakos Frankfurt. That could be a very high scoring matchup. That could be a very, very Im a crazy matchup. I like That could be a lot of goals. At this moment, though, I think I would edge with the... I think I would edge with Frankfurt, just about, because the second leg is in Germany, but I'm not very confident. I could see Olympiakos getting the job done. The Bodo Glimp is a strong guy. That's a very interesting one. Um, at this moment, I would probably lean with Storm Guys. I feel like Bodo Glimt isn't the same as they used to be, though. Although, second leg is going to be at home for them. And then we have Union SG versus Ludogratz. That could be a very, very exciting match of a lot of goals. Both teams are very so uh, Both teams can score a lot of goals. I also feel like can concede a lot of goals, too. So, I'd probably say at this moment, I'd probably go with Ludogratz at this moment. But, um, you know, maybe Union SG might do it. And again, versus Real Batiste. I think Real Batiste should be able to beat Ghent um, on this one. Although, again, have been playing really good football. And like I said, I don't think Real Batis are that great defensively. So those are your, um, those are the mock draw, man. We're going to go ahead and do my dream draw now. So let me go ahead and switch screens for you guys. Um, so let me just switch right here. Uh, you guys should see it. Okay, hold up. Not quite what I wanted to do. So we'll do this way. Uh, beginning. And now I believe it should work. Yes, and now it should work. Okay, sorry. I, I should have tested it anyways. So now we're going to go ahead and do my dream draw. So let's start with the first match we've got over here, Real Batiste Frankfurt. Of course, I believe the two teams played against each other in the Europa League a few seasons ago, and actually Frankfurt actually managed to get the better of Real Batiste. This time around, maybe Real Batiste can get revenge. I think Real Batiste, if this matchup did take place, I would actually say Real Batiste would get revenge because I feel like for me, Frankfurt haven't really been the same. They've kind of fallen off. I feel like this team isn't as good as it used to be, and I feel like Real Batiste can do this. Although, I will say, though, defensively, Real Batiste look very, very sketchy, as we saw against Rangers in that home game. They should have done a lot better defensively. So, yeah, I think this will be a great matchup. Moving on, uh, we have Ajax versus Ghent. I think this will be a great, great matchup. You know, both teams, uh, both these countries really hate each other. We know Netherlands and Belgium have this intense rivalry league. And I think it'll be great for both the clubs to play against each other in a European competition, you know. And um, I think it'll be a great, great, um, you know, great opportunity. And I think this is a very interesting one because, again, have really been great in the Conference League. They have been amazing. They have that amazing player, Orban, who's been an insane form. Um, although I do think his form is going to drop since then. And we know Ajax have, haven't had a really good start this season. They were really, really bad. They were in the relegation zone, and now things have seemingly got better for them and i think it's a very interesting one because i think this one could be a lot of goals i think this one be, can be a goal scoring matchup and i would love to see this so hope we can see this guys and at this moment if i had to pick a winner i'd probably lean towards who would i pick for this one um i think this is difficult guys this is really difficult 
At this moment, though, I would edge with Ix. I think Ix will find a way to get through. Because again, for me, haven't really. I feel like Gent haven't been as good as they used to be. So that's why I'm gonna go with Ix. But I could definitely see Gent doing it. It's it's fifty fifty, man. To be honest. The way next one is Olympiacos or Boda Glimt. Olympiacos for me, we saw what they did in the Europa League. They did really well after a disastrous last season where they finished bottom of the group. Boda Glimt, you know, things have seemingly got better for them as well. Um, I don't know what to make of this Boda Glimt team. I don't think this team is as good as it used to be. I feel like this team has kind of regressed. Uh, they still made it out the group, though, which uh, kudos to them, though. So, at this moment, I'd probably lean towards um, Olympiacos. But maybe Bodo Glenn, because Bodo Glenn do have the second leg at home, which could be very crucial. But I just feel like for me, Olympiacos for me, man, I feel like they're a solid team. And I feel like they have picked things up. And I think they'll get, I think they have the more experience. And yeah, I think they'll find a way to pull through. But um, yeah, it's a difficult one. Difficult one to call. The next up is Storm Gods versus Legio Warsaw. Storm Gods, man, they did really, they did pretty good in the uh, Europa League group. Although they didn't really do as well as I thought they would. At Legio Warsaw, man, they, they, they did really well, man. So shout out to Legio Warsaw, man. What they did was phenomenal achievement for them to make the knockout stage ahead of the ahead of az alkmaar is a very commendable achievement and a lot of people probably didn't see that coming so i think it's a very interesting one i would at this moment i would probably lean towards storm guys but i think legit war sucker is this is a tough one man this is a 50 50 man this is a very difficult one to call moving on we have here is union sg versus ferenc virus i think this will be a great matchup i think we're gonna see a lot of goals this one and i think what makes this matchup so interesting is that both these teams are very good attacking wise i think and defensively i don't think they're very good though so i think that makes this matchup very interesting at this moment though if you were to ask me who i would favor i would probably favor ferenc virus because i feel like for me ever since i feel like this team has been really solid this season in general and Union SG, although they have been great this season, I feel like Union SG haven't really been the same. I feel like the departures of Twema and Boniface are very, very big losses, and I just don't think Union SG is the same as it used to be. So I'm hoping wrong, though. I'd love to see Union SG do it, but I, I think at this moment I would have to go with Ferenc Varos. I feel like they're a very solid, underrated Hungarian team. Next up is Mikeba Haifa versus Ludogorets. I feel like this will be a very interesting one uh, for both teams. I think both teams will be pretty content with the draw. Uh, my Kaiba Haifa, we saw what they did. They went away in Greece to actually manage to get a d victory. is credible. And Little Goretz, they were also kind of defined the odds. You know, they got smashed by Nordsjælland a few, uh, few months ago. And then they managed to get revenge and beat them 1-0. And even though their head-to-head -head is so bad, they still managed to pull through because they managed to get more points in Nordsjælland. And they got 12 points, whereas Nordsjælland got 10. So I think both of these teams had a rough start, to see, rough start in their groups, respectively. And managed to pull through and come through. As um we ex um you know probably from unlikely positions, so I think this is a great matchup at this moment. Though who would I favor? <sighs> See the thing with Ludogorets is I feel like they're really really solid at home. I think they're a good home team, but their away t their away form is really bad. And I kind of feel the same for my Kaba Haifa. I feel like my Kaba Haifa is more of a home team than an away team. Although to be fair, they did win away in the last match day to get to the stage because had they had not won away, they wouldn't even been in the conference league. So. At this moment, I would probably lean with Ludogorets just because, like I said, the second leg is me at home, and I think that could be a crucial advantage, but um, it, it can go either way, to be honest. Uh, then we have next up is Servet versus uh, Slovan Bacisbe. I think it's a very interesting way you have a Swiss team versus a Slovakian team. And um, I think Servet, what they did was pretty commendable. They did pretty well in that group. You know, um, managed to, I think, hold... I think they managed to get a result against... They managed to get four points, which is actually pretty commendable. Um, and I just feel like for Servet, what they did was un unbelievable. Of course, I believe this is a team that won the uh, the Swiss League last season, if I'm not mistaken. And so, about Servet, they, of course, we know what they did in an amazing conference league run last season. Although, I don't feel like this team has been the same. I feel like this team has kind of regressed. So, at this moment, who would I pick to win? I would probably lean towards Servet. You know what? I think Servet can do this. I think Servet can pull through. Um, but it's a very close one, though. It can go either way, to be honest. And then finally, the last matchup here is got here is Mold versus Dinamo Zagreb. This is a matchup I really, really want to see. If there's any matchup of the round I really want to see, I think it would be this one. I feel like this would be a very interesting one because Mold, we saw what we we know how good they are, especially at home. We know how strong they are, and Dinamo Zagreb the same. In that being said, although I do think Dinamo Zagreb have fallen off, I don't think this team is as good as they used to be. And for that reason, I think Mold will actually pull through in this one. So. 
like I said, those are my quick thoughts um, upon my dream draw. Let's see how many actual dream matchups actually I get correct. You know, it would be amazing if I can get all eight of these correct. Um, I very much doubt it, though. And, yeah, like I said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Remember, guys, um, I also forgot to mention this video. Um, teams from the same confederation cannot play against each other. So we cannot see um, Unit SG versus um, Ghent in the next round, which um, we cannot see. So, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. Uh, check them out the podcast list in the description below. Uh, also, remember, guys, to um, turn on the vacation bell to be notified and click that join button to get access to the members of the members' streams. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.